Let's now still focus on the Pope and we bring you the story of Kenya's first Cardinal Maurice Otunga. KTN's Dorka Songira narrates the life and times of a man on his way to sainthood from his native town of Bungoma in western Kenya. He was born at the end of January 1923. The son of a paramount chief and a diviner, one of his many wives, they named him Simi, one born during the hot and dry season, but his father later changed his name to Otunga, which translates to a staff that supports the old and the lame. 1923 was the year of the Devonshire White Paper that recognized that even in the uncertain colony with a great Catholic missionary presence, the genuine owners of the land would eventually rule themselves. Little did his parents know that their son would join the church that would make him one of the most revered men of God from Kenya. This is Kata area in Bungoma, South Bungoma County, a humble place but home to two great men. The Paramount Chief Joseph Peter Sudi was buried here and his son Maurice Michael Otunga who was born here. The chief wanted a young Otunga to follow in his footsteps but Otunga was bent on serving God and he went on to become the first Kenyan Archbishop, the first Kenyan Cardinal and well on the way to becoming the first Kenyan born saint. We recognize our identity. I am a Mbukusu. I cannot deny my Mbukusu. But to be a Mbukusu, to correct my Mbukusu, God became a human being in order to save us. Ordained as a priest 3rd October 1951 in Rome, he later returned to Kenya, keen on evangelism and being a servant of God's people, not just in the country but the larger faithful in East Africa. November 1956, he was appointed as the auxiliary bishop of Kisumu, the first Kenyan to be elevated to the episcopacy. Philip Sulumeti, retired bishop of Kakamega, was a man close to him and notes that it had been hard for him. The church was human and the acceptance of him as a black bishop was difficult in some quarters. Kenya, then a colony, and the settlers had the mentality that they were going to stay. I blessed our independence. The politicians of the day said we have brought our own bishop. March 5, 1973, two years after taking over the see of Nairobi, Archbishop Otunga was made a cardinal of the Roman Catholic Church. He was cardinal when John Paul I and John Paul II ascended in succession to the papacy, both in 1978. George Michumo, the bishop of the ACK Church in Bungoma, is his maternal cousin. It means quite a lot will come from, and that is the expectation of the people. Mm. Unfortunately, they tend to concentrate in Nairobi and other areas and forget at home. And I simply think that um, uh, Cardinal Otunga having um, the, that kind of um, uh, saintly qualities, uh, perhaps he thought uh, by developing home, people say I'm tribal. As Cardinal, he was guided by the principle that the line between the religious affairs of the church and the civil, political, economic and justice situations of the country was of distinction and not separation. Known for his humility, he never hesitated to defend the poor and the marginalized. He was the voice of reason and never shied away from using his moral authority, pointing out the shortcomings of the Kenyatta and the Nyaya administration, the false lines of the 844, the assassination of Tom Boyer, corruption, shady business deals and the infamous Magendo of the late 70s. His immediate family was large. They knew him from afar. His brother Christopher Kilali Sudi was born when the cardinal was 24. He says his brother was a pious man to the core. Fitu kama maskini alitoa. Fitu kama ufisadi hii, njua hakuwa nataka kapisa. Mary Nyongesa Sudi fell in love with and married his brother Robert Nyongesa Sudi. Nitachiru wache ni uleka hapo. Na hui semechi yangu, haka alikuwa mutu wa kanisa saiti. Pope John Paul II visited Kenya three times, 1980, 1985 and 1995. Cardinal Lutunga had asked to resign in 1991, but John Paul Paul II refused, appointing Bishop Raphael Dingimwana Nzeki of Nakuru, 
who would succeed him automatically at the time of his retirement or death. His final years were punctuated by illness and with a great sense of dignity and humility, Cardinal Lutunga spent his final years at Mumbai Waze, a home for the elderly in Kasarani, operated by the Little Sisters of the Poor. And perhaps, who knows, when Pope Francis comes to Kenya, he might now decide to announce uh, that um, uh, Maurice Cardinal Otunga will be uh, due for sainthood and that will be the joy of the church. Very important to everybody and especially also lifting the profile of Kenya as a whole. Revered in life and in death, modest, as eulogized by the most reverend John Jenga, the Emeritus Archbishop of Mombasa five years after his death. He was a cardinal, a potential pope to be precise, yet he never made it his habit to call to attention everything that he did. Dorka Swangira, KTN News, Ungoma County. He was born at the end of January 1923, the son of a...